Hello there. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up using Golden Dict uh, for Tibetan translation. Uh, Golden Dictionary is a very useful application that allows you to compile a variety of dictionary sources and search them all at once. So in this video, I'm going to show you some tips for installation, um, how to arrange online and local sources, and how to resolve any font issues that might uh, come up. Uh, supplementary to this video, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, dictionary files for use in Golden Dict um, from a spreadsheet or text file. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first, I'd like to direct you to this Digital Tibetan uh, Golden Dict page. There'll be a link in the video notes. Um, also, any other websites that I visit through the video, um, I'll post in the notes as well. Um, but this is a really good guide, and it takes through you through much of what I'm going to show you in this video. Um, but if you scroll down to installation, it will say that it recommends the early access builds version 1.5 or newer and gives you a link to the GitHub page um, where you can download the latest version, uh, download the installer right there. Um, it also works for Mac OS, um, although I hear from some Mac users that they prefer to use the built-in um, Apple dictionary um, that works similar to Golden Dict. Um, so that's up to you, but um, I believe it should work fine. In, Golden Dict should work fine in Mac as well. Um, and it also works on Linux. So go ahead and install Golden Dict and um, it should, when you open it up, it should look like this. So what's really great about Golden Dict is it allows you to compile a bunch of sources. For each source, it creates a little icon in the uh, toolbar here, and then you can flip them on and off depending which ones you want to search. So the little books here, if you hover over them, it'll tell you what they are. The little books here are um, files I have on my computer, and the Ws are Wikipedia pages, uh, Wikipedia databases, and then the um, globes are other online um, Tibetan dictionaries. Um, so if I want to search a term like uh, Sangye, for instance, <clears throat> I can just uh, search everything at once. So here's some local files. Here's the, the Rigpa wiki, here's the Tibetan wiki, here's the Christian Steinart, uh, Steinart dictionary, and then here's the TH Lib dictionaries. So that's really great. Um, I also have here a uh, collection of um, <clears throat> translation memories all placed into a dictionary file. So if I, for instance, if I search Sangye by itself, it doesn't find anything in there because there isn't a translation memory that's just that one word. But if I begin to query Sangye from the uh, search bar, it will show me, and I've turned all the other dictionaries off except my translation memory search here, um, <clears throat> it shows me all the TMs that have that word in it. So I can see how that word would be used in an, an example sentence. So that's really handy. Um, Golden Dict uh, supports a lot of different dictionary formats to see. Go to uh, Golden Dict references and uh, <clears throat> I go to the help page and then the second chapter is supported formats. Uh, most of the ones I'm using are in this star dict format, but there's a lot of supported formats here. Um, <clears throat> and so I'll show you some examples for how to 
set up those sources. You set them all up from the dictionaries interface, edit dictionaries. Um, so here the first tab in sources contains all the uh, files. So you'll add a folder for wherever you want to keep your dictionary files. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> you can start adding, uh, you can start downloading files and adding them here. For example, on the Digital Tibetan page, there is a, um, it has a download for the Rongzheng Yashe 2003 dictionary. <clears throat> and so you can, um, it actually contains three files. Uh, this is the Stardict format right here. There's a dictionary file and a, that the, contains all the keys and then an index file with all the definitions and then a uh, third file that identifies the dictionary itself. Uh, so you can download it there, and um, if I try to open it in a new tab, it um, it just opens that file, so you have to do save link as if you want to download it. But it'll just download those and then drop them in your, um, in your directory here, and then you'll rescan, and then it will um, add those to the search. Uh, for Wikipedia pages, uh, if you're searching Tibetan, I recommend using these three, the Rikpa Wiki, the Tibetan Wikipedia, and the Rangjong Yeshe Wiki. Um, uh, make sure the HTTP, um, some of them are HTTPS, and some of them are just HTTP. When I first had it uh, set up, I was getting errors for Rikpa, wiki and the Tibetan Wikipedia. I wasn't sure why, and then I realized it was missing this S. So um, if you're getting an error, that might be something to check. Um, and then last, you can directly use websites. So I think the uh, Christian Steinert dictionary is really good, The and um, the THLib dictionaries. Um, are also useful, although they may already be contained in the Christian Steinert one, but I've just added them here just in case they contain some additional information. Uh, and then you just put in the URL address for the uh, for for that search uh, dictionary. <clears throat> and then so it works just like a browser, but you can search it directly in the uh, directly in Golden Dict. Uh, now, one issue about this is um, it doesn't automatically enter the term into the search bar. Um, and if you try to type it, it will actually start typing in the Golden Dict search here. So you actually have to copy the term <clears throat> from your search bar and paste it here below. And then that will search the Steinart dictionary. And the Steinart is very good because it already compiles um, a whole set of online sources, uh, different dictionary sources. Oh, and I noticed, you may notice that the, <coughs> the uh, text is kind of compact and um, right here. That's just because in this video, I've uh, shrunk the window down really small to fit it in the recording space, but on your regular um, computer, this shouldn't be a problem. On the regular display, it's um, perfectly wide and, and easy to read, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, and so uh, one, one thing you might want to check, though, um, some of these sources use a, uh, a final tsek and some of them have a final she. So you may want to <clears throat> distinguish between which is which. For instance, if uh, this she is used in the 84,000 dictionary, but it's not used in the um, in some of the other ones. So um, <clears throat> just check both or leave the, the end blank, and then it will, um, you'll be able to find them. Um, <clears throat> they'll, They'll initially show up when you when you uh, s start searching from the bar here. As you can see here, now I can see the 
one with the tzek and the one without with the shay. Uh, finally, I'd just like to address some uh, font issues that might come up. Uh, by default, the Gold Index should support Tibetan fonts without any problems. Um, but if you do have any issues, please uh, comment in the video notes and I'll try to resolve them. Um, what I did, though, have an issue with at first, I uh, was using an input input application called uh, TSE, and uh, that almost worked, but it was having troubles with the stacked letters. Um, it wouldn't input them properly. So, um, <clears throat> but uh, the digital Tibetan page mentions this as well, and it recommends using uh, Denjong type. Um, and if you uh, just follow the link there, it will take you to the GitHub page where you can download it. Um, it's a really simple application. It's just a exe file. Um, you activate it, and then it starts typing in Tibetan. And then to switch between Roman and Tibetan, you just hit shift space. Um, and it has Wiley input or uh, a Tibetan keyboard input as well. Um, <clears throat> and so with that, you should, shouldn't have any problems. Uh, the other issue that might come up um, is with the Devanagri. Um, I had no issue with Devanagri when I opened it by default. It um, showed all the Devanagri here without any problems. Uh, but my partner um, installed it um, on her computer, and they weren't showing up. Um, and so I found a forum that kind of addressed this problem. Um, you can adjust the style sheet in the Golden Dict uh, application folder. And um, I'll leave some detailed notes uh, uh, in the video notes uh, for how to do that. Um, it's just a simple seven step process. Um, I'm, not, I'm not using that on my own computer, so I won't step you through it here, but you should be able to follow that and it will display the Devanagri without any problem um, if you're having issues with that. Um, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Uh, as I mentioned in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, dictionary files from a spreadsheet or a text file. Um, and I'll also show you how I converted um, some translation memories in the form of TMX files into uh, a searchable Golden Dict format. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So um, stay tuned for that video, and thank you.